By the end of the Cretaceous period, the continents were approaching their modern positions. India had broken away from Africa and was quickly moving towards Asia. By the end of the Cretaceous period, there uh, were very large volcanic eruptions in India, the second largest in history, and a large uh, meteorite hit the Yucatan Peninsula near Mexico. These two events uh, caused the second worst extinction in Earth's history. By the end of the Cretaceous period, small flowering plants had become common as weedy uh, plants growing in the undergrowth and also as small flowering trees. The large trees at the end of the Cretaceous were still the gymnosperms. Evidence from fossil coprolites of dinosaurs suggests that grasses had evolved by the end of the Cretaceous. By the Cretaceous period, frogs and salamanders, which were essentially modern in their appearance, had evolved. Also, there were the last surviving giant amphibians, such as Coolasuchus, which lived in Australia near the South Pole. In the Cretaceous, the ancestors of modern Sicilians had evolved. These are legless amphibians today, but their Cretaceous ancestors still retained their legs. Throughout the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, mammals evolved into a number of groups, although they were typically small and did not play a major role in ecosystems. Only three of these lineages survive today, the egg-laying monotremes and the live-bearing marsupials and placental mammals. These live-bearing groups evolved in the Cretaceous period and spread throughout the world. There is no clear evidence that any of the modern groups of placental mammals had evolved before the end of the Cretaceous period, although there was fragmentary fossil evidence which suggests that uh, primitive elephants, condylarths, and perhaps even primates had appeared by the very end of the Cretaceous period. By the Cretaceous period, lizard groups had included some marine forms, including the mosasaurs, which were giant marine predators in the Cretaceous period. The first snakes are also known from the Cretaceous period. The three earliest snakes still retain remnants of their hind legs. By the Cretaceous period, the group of pterosaurs which had dominated the skies during the Jurassic had become extinct. The only remaining pterosaurs were much larger, called the pterodactyls. Some could have a wingspan of 40 feet or more. 